You know the song, money, money, money. <laughs> <laughs> We have to be focused on getting rid of all evil and have to really look and see what's holding us back from really truly giving to God in every area of our lives, especially monetary, because we know we've all come out of that system, the system of Antichrist, where money is a God. But Matthew 6, 33 says, Seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all things will be added unto us. He knows what we need before we even ask. Mm -hmm. And that's what, it comes back to the opening scripture. Do we have faith in God? Without faith, it is impossible to please, please him. <laughs> we believe the spirit of Antichrist or the, or the, the whole system that's built against God, over God, we can't be saved. Because mm -hmm. without faith, it's impossible to please him. We have to truly meditate on this. Let's go to Psalms 52. Verse 7. The righteous also shall see and fear and shall laugh at him. They're talking about an unrighteous man in the context of Psalm 52, verses 1 through 5. Um, Lo, this is the man that made not God his strength, but trusted in the abundance of his riches, and strengthened himself in his wickedness. In his wickedness. Let's connect this with Psalm 62, 62 10. Trust not, Psalm 62.10, Trust not in oppression, and become not vain in robbery. If riches increase, set not your heart upon them. Remember, we are to love God with all our heart, all our mind, all our soul, and all our strength. And we use money to do what he tells us to do with it. The Bible speaks about bread and seed. Well, we, know we, we know in the Lord's Prayer, it asks us to pray to God about our, our, our daily bread, our provision. But the Bible also talks about seed. So we need to know what is our daily bread and what is our seed. And we do that by seeking God. God, what would you want me to keep? What would you want me to give? Mm -hmm. Learning how to hear God's voice, but really having the heart to give. That's where it starts, with a willingness of heart. Mm -hmm. That we want to give. Because we know this life is not ours. Mm -hmm. We know this earth is not ours. We know the resources that we temporarily possess are not even ours. Mm -hmm. We're just stewards over them. So we have to begin with a willing heart. God, how can I give? What can I do? How can I help you advance the kingdom? Not being so caught up in the facade of capitalism. Hmm. We have to be focused. Let's go to Proverbs 11. Mm -hmm. Cause where your treasures are, <laughs> that's where your heart will be. And this sums up right here. Proverbs 11, 4. Hmm. Proverbs 11, 4. Riches profit not in the day of wrath. My God. Mm -mm -mm. But righteousness <laughs> delivered from death. Oh, good God. How do we have righteousness? We have, it starts with faith. For God so loved the world that he gave Jesus Christ to us, and we receive it by faith. And then we obey because we believe, and that leads to righteousness. But without faith, it is impossible to please God. If we have faith in money, or we have faith in the world system, the system of Antichrist, we will not be delivered on the day of wrath. If we trust in another system, we trust in another God. Matthew 6, 33, seek ye first kingdom of God and his righteousness. Thank you. Hallelujah. So let us practice, let us work on that giving. And ask, 
and seek the Lord about what he wants you to give. Because it's very important that we, we, we give so we can live. Amen. We give to live. <laughs> we give so we can free ourselves from covetousness, Amen. from selfishness, from pride. We give so we can get rid of those false idols that we came to Christ with. That's why we give. God can bless everybody with all the things that they need. But we give so we can be further delivered. Amen. So giving is two parts. Of course, there's the meet the needs, but also to help deliver us. Amen. From selfishness, from pride, from covetousness, mm -hmm. from the spirit, of, from the from the system of antichrist. Mm -hmm. Amen. So we're not giving. Are we truly saved? Mm -hmm. What are we blocking? Mm -hmm. Help us, please. <laughs> Let's go to Luke twenty-one. I close on this. Luke twenty one. Verse 1. And he looked up and saw the rich men casting their gifts into the treasury. And he, up, and he saw also a certain poor widow casting into the two mites. And he said, Of a truth I say unto you, that this poor widow hath cast in more than they all. For all these have their abundance cast into the, unto the offerings of God. But she of her penury had cast in all the living that she had. So the question is, do we have faith in God <clears throat> to the point where we can give all, even if it means sacrificing our own lives? <laughs> Good God. <laughs> can we? Do we have the same heart for God and the faith that we can give <laughs> our last two little pennies? If it means that God gets the glory. Because we're only here for a season. God is really just testing our hearts. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's all he's really doing. He can give us everything we need. Just like that. And he's preparing us for eternity. So during this time, before the government starts knocking on your door and telling you to accept the mark or die, this is a grace period for us. Get your heart right. <laughs> While we have time here, now, get your heart right. Believe God. Have faith. Give. Break free of covetousness, selfishness, capitalism, antichrist. Break free of those things. While we have time now. Like Terry said, you can give by force, command, or of a willing heart. Give with a willing heart. Give. Because he first gave to us. He is the archetype of what we all should be. My God. Mm -mm -mm. And I have a personal testimony. Um, after I received my new position, um, the Lord said, give your first check. I said, um, no hablo inglés. Can't be behind then I heard a voice in Spanish. Oh my what? <laughs> I was just playing, but <laughs> the Lord commanded me to do that. And the whole time, it wasn't a problem. It wasn't a problem to me because the whole time, doing that whole phase of ups and downs of me being broken, he revealed the true nature of Jesus Christ to me, yes. which is to give. Yes. So I had no problem with it. Yes. Because I know if I'm a part of something much bigger than a nine to five. Yes. I'm a part of something much bigger than life itself. Mm. We all are. So let us focus on that. Let us set our, our mind and our heart and our affections on things above yes. and not beneath.